everyone. We're going to use implicit differentiation to find the values of the derivative of y with respect to x of x squared y plus y squared equals 5, and uh, where our y is equal to 1. So anytime you have these mixtures of x and y's, we're going to use implicit differentiation. So we'll get started, and on this first part, we use the, the product uh, rule. So take the derivative of x squared, so that's 2x times y, and then you add um, x squared and take the derivative of y. Derivative of y is just 1, so that would be dy, 1 times derivative of y with respect to x. And the second piece is take the derivative of y, so that's 2y dy dx. And this is going to equal 0. All right, so derivative of 5 would be 0. Now, what we're going to do is uh, plug in our 1 into the original equation to find its corresponding x values. So you plug in 1, you're going to get x squared plus 1 equals 5. So x squared equals 4, therefore x equals uh, plus or minus 2. All right, since you have that, we can plug in our x and value y's to find dy dx. So basically for y equals 1 and x equals positive 2, and I'm just going to plug it into here, so this one right here. So when you plug in um, 2 and our x is 2, our y is 1 plus 2 squared, derivative of y with respect to x, plus 2 times 1, derivative of y with respect to x. And then, um, so we're going to solve for this, and this is 4 plus 4 dy dx plus 2 dy dx. So we set this to 0, so you're going to get, this is 6, so let's go into the next page. You're going to get 4 plus 6 dy dx, I just added those two, equals 0. And to solve for derivative of y with respect to x, you get 6. Derivative of y with respect to x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 6. So dy divided by dx is going to be negative uh, 4 over 6, which is negative 2 over 3. All right. And then we have to check when y is 1 and x is negative 2. So plug that in. You get 2 times negative 2 times 1 plus negative 2 squared dy dx plus 2 times 1 dy over dx equals 0. So this is negative 4 and when you um, get this you're going to get 6 again because it's going to be plus 4 dy over dx plus 2 dy over dx so you add those two together you get 6 so now we have negative 4 plus 6 derivative of y with respect to x. So in this case, it's the same as this one, but we have the negative 4. So we have uh, dy over dx equals positive 2 thirds. So there are your two um, dy derivative of y's with respect to x's. All right, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.